This is Pukeology Podcast, where science meets your hilarious puke stories and the tips and tricks to stop that up chuckle that you need. You never know what's going to spew out of her mouth. Here's my mama, Dr. Puke Nemo. Looking for home remedies for nausea and vomiting? These seven natural ways to stop nausea actually work, and that's in today's Pregnancy Pukeology, Episode 4, Home Remedies for Nausea and Vomiting. Want no more morning sickness or pregnancy nausea? Visit our sponsor, nomonausea.com. That's N-O-M-O-N-A-U-S-E-A.com or on Amazon to find the only natural way to instantly stop your pregnancy nausea and vomiting now, or just place it on your baby registry the next time that you're looking for something for your delivery bag at select Bed Bath & Beyond and Bye Bye Baby locations. Pregnancy humor that may just make you wanna pee your pants, like you don't have to pee all the time anyway, with hilarious stories you'll hear like, BMW stands for double V in vomiting, doggy cleanup, and high school hussy. If you want to learn more about your pregnancy through humor, knowledge is the key to help you survive these nine months and know we're in this together. You'll learn natural ways to stop nausea with foods. Can't stomach the idea of foods? A few more non-edible home remedies to help you stop your upset stomach. And why do we puke during pregnancy anyway? The answers to morning sickness finally revealed. Growing up on a Tuesday? One puke story. Ah, ah, ah. So I was walking on my way to work this morning when all too familiar waves of nausea took over. Knowing that I was going to throw up, I looked around for the best place. I live in Australia and in the CBD, which there was no bins or anything like that in sight, the closest thing that I found was a garden. After emptying the entire contents of my stomach, I turned around to see a bunch of people standing at a traffic light staring at me spewing into the front garden of the BMW Display Center. Being only seven weeks pregnant, I'm not showing just yet, so I can't even begin to think of what these people were thinking of me. Thanks forevermore for your story of turning BMW into BMW-V for vomit. I'm a little farther along than you, hun, but a few weeks ago, I went downstairs to find my dog had been sick on the floor, and as this is usually no problem, I bent down to clean it up. I caught a waft of what I was off heaving like a champ in two seconds, just made it to the sink to throw up, and as I was sick, I weeded myself as well, weeded as in peed myself as well. Not one of my finer moments. Mummy and me with two E's. Thanks again for your fur baby and for our puke story that made us giggle. In high school, I saw one of my pregnant friends sitting at a desk crying in a classroom covered in vomit. Apparently, she started vomiting all over the desk and in the floor in the middle of class. That's pretty much the worst and most embarrassing pregnancy-related thing that I have ever seen, lol. That'll teach you not to get pregnant in high school. It must have been rough on her, not just vomiting, lol. XDXXTX is pregnant and expecting now, so thanks for outing your high school friend for our pregnant enjoyment. The Science of Puke, Pukeology. Did you know that up to 80% of women experience morning sickness between their 6th and 14th week gestation? 
2% of them actually suffer from severe nausea and vomiting, and that's actually called hyperemesis gravidarum in pregnancy, which most of the time hospitalization is required because they're so dehydrated from throwing up that they need to have an IV. HCG, which is the human chorionic anonotropin hormone, is also known as the pregnancy hormone. This actually increases exponentially as the baby grows, and that's our indication of how well we are progressing in our pregnancy and how good that our baby is doing. It's also how you know when you pee on a stick and you find out that you're pregnant. It's actually charting the HCG hormone. Anti-nausea medications are something that a lot of women automatically turn to when they have severe nausea and vomiting. And I wanna challenge that because I believe that natural is better. And the reason why is because these anti-nausea medications that are man-made are not water soluble, unlike natural. Natural, whatever you don't use, you actually pee it out. That's the reason why when you take vitamins, your pee is very yellow because it's all the rest of the vitamins that your body does not use or does not need. Common anti-nausea medications like Zofran um, only attack one out of the five puc receptors in the brain. And yes, ladies, there is an actual puc receptor in the brain called the CTZ. This anti-serotonergic medication, Zofran, has been found to work in both the brain and the gut, but has been found to be linked to some severe birth defects, especially on the unborn's heart. So I know I actually am a mother who used to pop Zofran like candy when I was pregnant, never thinking there was any problems, even though it is not FDA cleared for pregnancy, I still took it because that's what my OBGYN recommended. Guess what? My son came out with a heart murmur, um, and so I was one of those moms who experienced a lot of grief thereafter because of the fact that all I wanted to do was get rid of my terrible, upset stomach. And in doing so, I may have caused severe heart conditions in my son for the rest of his life. Another medication um, that's commonly used is called Reglan. Reglan actually helps to push down the food in the same way, believe it or not, that peppermint oil does. So why is it that we're recommending Reglan? Um, a lot of pregnant women who also have diabetes, because in diabetes, they actually have a decrease in their stomach movement of food. So this medication helps to ramp it up. Um, but it's been linked to extra pyramidal side effects. Translation for everyday life. What that means is there's a thing called torticollis. It's a neck-like and it's kind of like the exorcist. It's where your neck turns completely backwards and all of the muscles get severely tight. Uncontrollable leg movements is another where your legs continuously flap up and down and then severe anxiety. I personally would have some severe anxiety as a side effect of this medication if my legs were flopping around like a fish. And after hearing all these terrible side effects, I think I would much rather just deal with the nausea. Um, these are just some examples of why I think home remedies are best. So now let's get into the seven natural ways to stop nausea and vomiting. Tips and tricks to stop the up chuckle that you need. Millions of people especially pregnant women, suffer from nausea every day. It's one of the most uncomfortable feelings and leaves people desperate for relief. Being pregnant, you want to do what's best for your baby on the inside. So you want to look for more natural solutions and things that you can do at home, right? Over-the-counter medications can have severe side effects, as we just discussed, so it's beneficial to find natural alternatives that work for you. Here are seven natural ways to treat nausea and vomiting that actually work. Let's go through the ones that you do have to ingest first. Ever wondered why an apple is inside of your stateroom during a cruise? Well, it's because apples are high in fiber. They can actually help to decrease your upset stomach because of this thing called pectin. Pectin, which is the actual skin of the apple on the outside, is a known anti-nausea. Uh, it actually helps to 
decrease the upset stomach that you're feeling because of this derivative called pectin. Fiber or foods that are high in fiber also help to rid your body of chemicals that may be causing the upset stomach. Apple juice can help too, just in case you can't stomach eating an entire apple. Lemons are great for stopping nausea as well. Citrus fruits are actually help to calm and cool your stomach. Um, sucking on lemon, drinking lemon juice extract uh, or lemon juice mixes have also been known to help. Additionally, lemons and lemon juice contain an array of different vitamins, which are also beneficial to your health. Ginger. Oh man, everybody uses ginger and you've been hearing about it consistently. They've been helping treat people with upset stomach for over 2,000 years with just ginger. Many studies have shown that ginger helps to relieve nausea and vomiting in a variety of different ways. So you can actually make ginger in capsule form. You can eat it as a whole um, where you would mix it with foods or you can put it into a tea, steep it and drink it in that sort of way. And ginger tea with honey is absolutely delicious. I would highly recommend a little splash of lemon. I made it the other day when I was feeling sick and it was great. I felt so much better. So highly recommended. Make kind of like a nice little pitcher and put it inside your fridge. Crackers. <clears throat> Who hasn't had saltine crackers next to their bed? Alongside of the Tums, of course. Um, crackers, like saltines, are another way to help you digest your upset stomach. Um, because of the crackers help to actually absorb all of um, the other surrounding type of liquids, sometimes those chemicals or things that you're already eating that have caused more upset stomach, it'll actually help you to absorb it almost like a sponge. So <clears throat> absorbing these gastric acids will help stop that nausea that you're experiencing. All these are great remedies for curing nausea, but sometimes when you're too sick and you don't feel like ingesting anything, um, eating something can actually make you feel worse. And that's because of the fact that you have an increase in stomach acids. Women during pregnancy have an increase in what's known as acid reflux. Um, Hence why we all have those tums that we were talking about before. And if you want to find out more information about, you know, upset stomach or increasing your stomach reflux, we actually have a another podcast, which is episode two, that was called What is Morning Sickness Like? And it actually explains um, the difference between regular upset stomach acid reflux and also pregnancy induced nausea. So check it out. Here's some non-edible solutions that I think you guys will all like. So peppermint oil, it's one of the most common cures for nausea and vomiting. By breathing it in, um, it actually helps to increase the cooling sensation that you do feel. Um, you also, by smelling it, gets into the body the quickest way. And by chewing it via mint, uh, drinking mint teas, all of these will actually help you to relax the stomach as needed. Acupressure. Acupressure functions by applying constant pressure and notice that I said constant. So yes, you have to wear it in the shower while you're swimming, um, continuously while you're sweating at the gym, all those other things. <clears throat> and you're going to apply this to the P6 point on the human wrist. Um, this vascular meridian, also known as um, the median nerve that runs underneath of it, is located three finger distance from the first wrist crease in between your pointer and your middle finger tendon. By stimulating this nerve that lies underneath, you actually increase the amount of anti-nausea hormones that your body produces. This helps to keep it circulating for 12 to 24 hours, even after your nausea um, has, you know, after the actual pressure has been removed, but it still forms an anti-nausea barrier in the brain. A heating pad. Usually a heating pad can help nausea in a variety of different ways. It serves as a distraction mechanism for nausea and it helps to relax the muscles in your stomach. Now your muscles in your stomach are smooth muscles, which are very different from the striated muscles that are located in the biceps, for example, or in your legs. But 
it's still a muscle. And so it helps to relax it. And when you focus on something that's very hot or very cold, that's what I've termed as distraction technology. It'll make you forget that you're sick in the first place. Sounds awesome, right? Now, if you don't have time to rub your body with peppermint oil, uh, apply constant pressure to the wrist because you are already a mommy and you're running around like crazy and you don't have time to huff on peppermint leaves, try Nomonaja. Um, Nomonaja is a band that combines all three of these in one patent pending combination. It uses that fast acting peppermint aromatherapy that we talked about, which instantly goes into your brain through your nose to stop vomiting in seconds. Now that peppermint oil distraction technology that we talked about makes your wrist feel nice and cool and it makes you forget that you're sick in the first place. And last but not least, the acupressure on the P6 point actually helps to increase the amount of anti-nausea hormones even before you get into the car, before you go on the plane or before you go on a cruise. Because I know what it's like to cruise without a nausea band when I was pregnant it was a terrible, terrible adventure on a Disney cruise. So I only recommend you go on any boat with no Monaja band. Uh, it, it is a lifesaver and a vacation saver at that. The good news is I didn't wish all of you guys a happy Amazon Prime Day, which as you guys know, it is July 11th, 2017 is Prime Day. So while you're on Amazon Prime buying all those other things, you can actually save 5% on any Nomo products um, by utilizing the coupon Prego Love. And I'm going to spell it out. P-R-E-G-O-L-U-V. Again, that's Prego Love. P-R-E-G-O-L-U-V. Save 5% on Amazon and it's on Amazon Prime. So you can get that for free shipping in just two days or do what I would love all of you guys to do is go to nomonaja.com because nomonaja.com will give you more information on all of these things and check out our blogs too. You'll be surprised at how many things have been referenced here that we've already talked about and more and better solutions um, to all of the stuff that we've actually discussed. So I want to thank you all for listening. Please share your puke stories. I giggle every time. And again, send me send me something. Send me what you loved, what you didn't like, and please rate us. Give us a five-star rating and refer it to all your friends because I know we all are like you know, communal packs. When one gets pregnant, the next does and the next does and vice versa. I feel like I'm continuously going to all of these great baby showers and I'm kind of becoming a master of baby shower games. So send me an email. That's pukeology, P-U-K-E-O-L-O-G-Y at nomonausea.com. N-O-M-O-N-A-U-S-E-A.com. And let me know what you think. Again, seven natural ways to stop vomiting only given to you here on Pregnancy Pukeology, Episode 4, Home Remedies for Nausea and Vomiting. Ladies, stay safe and know that we, the pregnant women of the world, are all in this together. Pukeology Podcast, edutainment at its finest.